Hi everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I hope you all are doing good and preparing well for the upcoming examination. I am Gulapsa, your mentor for Finance Current Affairs and I welcome you once again to another session of RBI 247. And in today's session, we are going to discuss a report that has been recently released by RBI. And this report talks about the performance of the Ombudsman scheme for the financial year 2021-22. So let's get started with the news. So the news is that the Consumer and Education, Consumer Education and Protection Department of RBI has released the annual report. So this is an annual report of the Ombudsman scheme for the financial year 2021-22. Now the first question that will arise to any one of you would be what is this Ombudsman scheme? So Ombudsman scheme is basically a scheme introduced by RBI whereby it is an expeditious as well as an inexpensive free of cost way of solving or resolving any consumer complaints of the regulated entities. Agar banks ki customers hai, us, unki kuch complaints hai, usko resolve karna hai. Ya let's say NBFCs and their customers having any complaints, then that complaints could be resolved using this Ombudsman scheme. So, this report aayi hai. So, let's understand ki kya kya hai. So, this report basically covers the activities under the following Ombudsman scheme. So, in India, there are these four Ombudsman schemes. So, these three have been actually integrated into this Reserve Bank Integrated Ombudsman Scheme of 2021. So, what are these previous three Ombudsman schemes? The first one is the Banking Ombudsman Scheme of 2006 whereby entities such as the scheduled commercial banks, then we have the primary urban cooperative banks as well as the regional rural banks forms part of this ombudsman scheme and any customer of these regulated entities can get their complaints resolved using the ombudsman scheme. Now, ombudsman scheme ke under a banking ombudsman hota hai, who is a senior level official or an of officer who solves the problem and there is an office of the banking ombudsman whereby any of the complaints whether rece received through the physical mode or through the email or online mode could be solved. The second is the ombudsman scheme for NBFCs and this was introduced in the year 2018. And the third one talks about the ombudsman scheme for digital transactions introduced in the year 2019. So, jitne bhi payment related hai, let's say NEFT or the Bharat Bill payment system or the UPI, any uh, any issues related to the online payment system could be resolved using the Ombudsman scheme for digital transaction. But there was a need to integrate all of these because uh, the country wanted something called One Nation, One Ombudsman, whereby a single email address could help any customer of these regulated entities to get their uh, to get their complaints resolved using the Banking Ombudsman Scheme and therefore in the year 2021, our Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched the Reserve Bank Integrated Ombudsman Scheme. Jiske andar ye teeno to integrated hai hi. So these regulated entities are part of this Reserve Bank Integrated Ombudsman Scheme. Iske lava we also have the credit information companies as well as the non-scheduled urban cooperative banks having a deposit size of rupees. 50 crores and above. So, ye aapke integrated ombud scheme ke andar a jayenge and there is a process and there is a way forward that more regulated entities could be brought under this integrated ombudsman scheme. Iske lava report ye bhi batata hai ki kya major developments kiye gaye hai for the uh, for making resolution or for providing fair resolution to the consumers as well as what is the way forward for the uh, coming years in the area of consumer protection and consumer education? So, samajhte hai is report ko. So, let's start with the very first thing that is understanding about the consumer education and protection department because it is this department jo ye report release karti hai, the annual report of the Reserve Bank Ombudsman Scheme. So, this department was set up in 26, 2006 and the main work or the main policy, main objective is to frame policy guidelines for consumer education and awareness as well as 
also to oversee the functioning of the 22 offices. So there are 22 offices of the RBI Ombudsman. So the offices of RBI Ombudsman, there are 22 offices as well as the 30 consumer education and protection cells. So initially we had protection cells, consumer education protection cells to look after the complaints of the consumers of the regulated entities. After that, RBI introduced the alternative grievance redressal mechanism under the Ombudsman scheme. So Ombudsman scheme ko hum AGR ke naam se bhi jante hain. That is alternative redressal, grievance redressal mechanism. What are the major functions? So it will administer the Reserve Bank Integrated Ombudsman Scheme 2021 because the other three have already been subsumed in it. In addition, this department will also handle complaints received in RBI through the CP Gram, that is Centralized Public Grievance Redressal and Monitoring System. So this system, so this is a web-based application, a portal that has been introduced by the central government. So central government ka ye initiative hai, a flagship program whereby any complaints or any doubts that any person has could be solved using this initiative or this web-based platform. So isko bhi monitor karna hai, iske andar jo bhi complaints aate hai, that should also be catered by this consumer education and protection department. Iske alawa, creating consumer awareness, we all know that and also disseminating the information to the regulated entities as well as to RBI. The last one is compiling and publishing the annual report on Ombudsman scheme, jo abhi aapke saamne hai. Now, let's understand the key highlights of this report. So, sabse pehle, we'll understand the mode of receipts of complaints, ki complaints kaise receive hui hai to the 22 offices of the Ombudsman. So, iske andar, they have said that what are the modes of complaining first of all. So, we could either have complaining through the portal CP Gram, jo humne abhi dekha tha. We also have a portal under this uh, Ombudsman scheme by the name CMS, that is Complaint Management System. So, it could be either through the portal or through email or through postal offices. Physical complaints bhi aap de sakte ho, physical letter ke through. So, if you can see the diagram here over here, the Objective of this diagram is to show you that the major receipts of the complaints have been done through the complaint portal that is the web-based application either through the CP Gram or CMS. And this has been mentioned here that CMS portal mode has been the most efficient mode of complaint registration by the complainants. So this is it. Now let's move forward to the next Thing. The next thing talks about the category wise receipts of complaints. So, here we will see the regulated entities, the banks, the NBFCs and also the non-bank payment system operators and the number of complaints received against these regulated entities. So, as you can see, the majority of the complaints has been received against these banks. So, 88% of the total complaints received are for the banks and these complaints has been received in this nature that is ATM card, debit card mein sabse zyada dekha gaya hai that is around 15% rest all you need not remember the figure bas aapko ye pata hona chahiye ki sabse zyada complaint banks ke liye aaye hai and the majority of the complaints is with regard to the ATMs and the debit cards also one more important thing about this news is that the complaints related to the ATM or the debit card has actually witnessed a decline over the previous three years. So, in this report, they presented three years ki data. Hume present kari thi. This ke according, the complaints, no doubt, it's very higher in case of ATM and debit cards, but still they are at a decline over the past three years and therefore it is good for the economy. Let's move forward and understand the other regulated entity that is NBFCs from NBFCs. Around 11% is the total complaints received and the majority of the complaints have been occurred in the loans and advances category. The loans and advances ke case mein, let's say, kuch charges cut ho gaye aur customer ko pata hi nahi chala. Aise cheeze hui hai, non-adherence to the FPC, Fair Practices Code. So there are certain rules and regulations, certain terms and conditions that has been laid down. Agar wo follow nahi hue hai, according to this RBI Ombudsman, report. So around 56% of 
of the complaints are in the nature or related to loans and advances and not adherence to the fair practices code let's move forward to the next thing that is non bank payment system operators so this payments is non bank payment system participants are nothing but nbfcs but they cater to the payment system to jo hamara teesra subsume hua hai the reserve bank ombudsman scheme for digital transactions so this constitutes the non bank payment system participants and as you can see here just 1% of the complaints complaints are from these just a second yes as you can see just 1% of the total complaints have been received from the non bank payment system operators and the majority of the complaint is from mobile transfers or the electronic fund transfers or mobile electronic banking that is around 39% upi ke case mein ya bharat bill payment ke case mein it is 31% prepaid card information jo hote hain prepaid instruments that is just 7% and non reversal of funds due to wrong debit or wrong uh, beneficiary transfer is around 6% so what information should be remembered from exam perspective is just this that in the category of non bank payment system participants the majority of the fraud or the majority of the complaints has been seen in the mobile or the electronic fund transfer let's move forward and let's look at this graph now this graph talks about the number of complaints received under the rbi ombudsman scheme from different uh, population group or distribution of the population so here you can so what is important for us for us it is important to look at this figure that is 2021 22 and ombudsman scheme plus the reserve bank integrated ombudsman scheme और आप अगर यहां देखोगे सो दिस इज द ऑरेंज वन फिफ्टी अराउंडिटन सिटीज फॉलोड बाई दर्बन विच इज अराउंड ट्वेंटी सेमी अर्बन हाउ एवर फे लुक एट द रूरल एरिया वेरी नेग्लिजिबल अमाउंट ऑफ रिस्पॉन्स और कंप्लेन्स हैज बिन रिसीव फ्रॉम द रूरल एरिया सो देर इज अ पॉलिसी नीड दैट uh rural areas people from the rural areas should be motivated or should be provided with certain incentive or should be made more aware financially aware to make resolution or to make complaints regarding any of the problems that they have been facing with the regulated entities so let's move forward and let's look at the complaint depending upon the receipts of complaints so the majority of the complaints has been received by the individuals that is around 80% to 80% jitne bhi complaints received hue hain that has been from the individuals followed by the businesses uh, and from the government department is just 1 per 1.6% and also from the senior citizen the complaints that has been received has actually increased and it is 3% which is very good because senior citizens अगर कंप्लेन्ट्स दे रहे हैं रिगार्डिंग एनी ऑफ द सर्विसेज दैट दे आर अवेलिंग और इन केस ऑफ एनी डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ सर्विसेज फ्रॉम द रेगुलेटेड एंटिटीज कुड हेल्प आरबीआई एस वेल एस कुड हेल्प आरबीआई इन कमिंग अप विद बेटर पॉलिसीज एंड बेटर रेगुलेशंस फॉर द रेगुलेटेड एंटिटीज नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉक अबाउट entity wise receipts of complaints so if you could see the majority of the complaints are against the public sector banks to yahan pe yahi important news hai jo aapko yaad rakhna hai ki jitne bhi complaints receive hue hain the majority has been or is against the public sector banks followed by the private sector banks that is around 30% if we talk about the payment and the small finance bank the differentiated the niche banks it is just around 2.7% rrbs and urban cooperative banks have just 3% complaints against them ठीक है नाउ लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड एंड टॉक अबाउट द मेजर एक्टिविटीज और द नटशेल ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज अंडर द ओम्बुड्समैन स्कीम सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ कंप्लेन्स दैट हैज बीन रिसीव्ड अंडर फॉर द फाइनेंशियल ईयर 2021-22 देन इट इज एक्चुअली इंक्रीज्ड एज कंपेयर टू द लास्ट ईयर बाय अराउंड 10% सो 9% 9 टू 10% के अकॉर्ड के साथ इंक्रीज हुआ है इन द वॉल्यूम ऑफ कंप्लेन्स दैट हैज बीन रिसीव्ड एंड इट इज एक्चुअली वेरी गुड 
for the uh, it is actually a very good figure because it shows that people are more interested and people are taking that initiative to come up with their complaints and they're actually registering their complaints next is the highest complaints has been related to the digital modes of payment so resilience should be brought in the digital sphere whereby cyber security attacks attacks jo hote hain uske liye kuch rules and regulation aane chahiye so that this could go down ne next is the rate of disposal kitna dispose kiya gaya hai complaints by the ombudsman so as per the report it has actually improved and around 98% of the total complaints received in the financial year 2021-22 has actually been uh, disposed or has actually been resolved by the banking ombudsman and it has actually improved next is the majority of the complaints of the maintainable complaints have been resolved through the mutual settlement that is court wagaira ke paas jaane ki zarurat nahi padi and mutually between the bank and the customer the complaints has been resolved either through conciliation mediation or mutual settlement so this was about the activities that were covered under the ombudsman scheme now let's move forward and talk about the important developments during the financial year 2021 22 to consumer education and protection mein kya kya nayi cheeze aayi hain aur specifically for the rbi's ombudsman scheme what major developments have been taken place are being mentioned here first and foremost as we have talked about it is the integration of the previous three ombudsman scheme under the reserve bank integrated ombudsman scheme of 2021 and this was launched by the prime minister on november 12 2021 ठीक है जहां पे सो व्हाट वाज द मेन प्रॉब्लम द मेन प्रॉब्लम वाज दैट फॉर सो इफ यू आर अ कस्टमर ऑफ अ बैंक सो यू हैड अ डिफरेंट ombudsman ombudsman who would, who would listen to your complaint and could provide you with the resolution so there were several email ids and also this ombudsman had their own distinctive or exclusive jurisdiction but now every person any person can use just one single email id or one single toll free number in order to register their complaints thereby providing convenience to the customers as well as improving or enhancing the scope or jurisdiction of the banking ombudsman next is so apart from that this integrated ombudsman scheme apart from the scheduled commercial banks and other regulated entities would also extend to the non scheduled urban cooperative banks non schedule kaun se hote hain these are those banks which are not listed under schedule 2 of the rbi act so rbi act ke schedule 2 ke andar mention nahi hai so if such uh, a non if such urban cooperative banks have deposits more than 50 crores 50 crores and above then they are also eligible to, or they are also covered under the integrated ombudsman scheme next is the credit information companies the companies which provide you with the credit score so such companies are also brought under the RBI integrated ombudsman scheme with effect from september 1 2022 and we have discussed about this while discussing the monetary policy statement So I hope this is clear to you now let's move forward and talk about the other development that has been taken place so the next is creation of a centralized receipts and processing center that is there is just one address or one application where you could register your complaint and that is known as the centralized receipt and processing center CRPC and it is situated at RBI Chandigarh तो ये आपको याद रखना है ये फैक्चुअल डेटा है बट अगेन इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू टू बी कैप्ट इन माइंड नाउ सो व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस सीआरपीसी द सेंट्रलाइज्ड रिसीट एंड प्रोसेसिंग सेंटर सो इट्स फंक्शन इज टू रिसीव कंप्लेन्स थ्रू आउट द कंट्रीज इधर थ्रू ईमेल और द फिजिकल मोड सो देयर इज जस्ट वन ईमेल फॉर एवरी पर्सन इन द कंट्री एंड they are to handle the initial or the preliminary scrutiny as well as the processing of the complaints and once the complaints are processed and scrutinized or agar wo maintainable hain that will be transferred to the different offices of the RBI ombudsman scheme theek hai before assigning the maintainable ones to the office office of the RBI ombudsman for further redressal and thereby this will help in addressing the grievances of the customers 
so let's move forward and understand the next important development that is the creation of a contact center so a contact center has also been created along with the reserve bank integrated ombudsman scheme whereby this contact center will be assisting the complainants the customers having complaints in providing in lodging their complaints in registering their complaints as well as providing them information regarding the redressal mechanism at rbi also providing them with awareness messages in their regional languages so apart from hindi and english in 10 other regional languages financial awareness and awareness messages related to consumer education and protection will be provided to the complainants so this has also been set up as part of the rbi integrated ombudsman scheme now let's move forward next so apart from the integration and the launch of rbi uh, integrated ombudsman scheme this has also been done that is the launch of a nationwide intensive awareness program by the name ombudsman speak on the world consumer rights day that was celebrated on 15th of march 2022 aur do bari ye kara gaya hai once in the month of march and the next in the month of september and what is the purpose of launching such an uh, initiative or the ombudsman speak program was to strengthen the ongoing financial awareness and education done by the department that is the department of rbi as well as the ombudsman scheme iske alawa the offices of the ombudsman scheme at rbi has also conducted 29 town hall events and 175 awareness programs during the financial year 2021-22 now apart from these developments and the major activities that we have discussed there are certain way forward that has been provide, provided in the report and these some of these are that in the coming year that is from the period april 1 2022 to march 31 2023 several initiatives or several several action plans will be undertaken by the uh, department of rbi the consumer education and protection department some of these are strengthening the grievance redressal framework for banks so iski review karenge and thereby coming up with proper guidelines in that were issued in 2021 and they were coming up with the updated guidelines next is the extension of the rbi integrated scheme ombudsman scheme and the internal ombudsman scheme to more regulated entities let's say for the payment banks for even for the small finance banks rrbs are included right urban cooperative banks are included but let's say the payment banks the small finance banks are not included to unko bhi include kiya jayega next it says in order to enhance the efficiency and ease of usage of this web based portal given by rbi by the name cms that is complaint management system portal so this is basically a web based application whereby any complaints by the complainant can be lodged or registered using this portal in an inexpeditious as well as inexpensive manner next is upgrading and expanding the contact centers so abhi tak contact centers kuch hi jagah available hain the availability would be increased so that more of the awareness uh, consumer related awareness could be provided to them in or could be assisted the complainants could be assisted with the registration of the complaints using the regional languages so these are the way forward that has been mentioned in the rbi ombudsman scheme report i hope this is clear to you also if you are liking the way we are teaching then you can also visit our live classes and have a look at it and in case if you have still not downloaded our app you can do so by going on to the google play store in order to get access to all the live videos that we conduct the youtube videos notification the past year papers as well as their strategies so now let's move forward to the questions and we have questions based on whatever we have studied so let's get started with the very first question which says consider and identify the incorrect statements so sabse pehle hame incorrect statements identify karne hain with regard to the ombudsman scheme report released for the financial year 2021 22 the first statement says this report has been released by the regulation and enforcement department of rbi sabse pehle the statement is wrong because the scheme or this report has been launched or issued by the consumer education and protection department of rbi next 
This report covers activities under the Banking Ombudsman Scheme, Correct Ombudsman Scheme for NBFCs and Ombudsman Scheme for Digital Transaction. Now, the Integrated Ombudsman Scheme, the Reserve Bank Integrated Ombudsman Scheme was launched in November 2021. Or ye jo report hai, the report covers the period from April 1, 2021 to March 31st, 2022. Therefore, till November 2021, the scheme covered the activities under the Banking Ombudsman Scheme, the Ombudsman Scheme for NBFCs as well as the Ombudsman Scheme for Digital Transactions. But, but after November or with November 2021, the scheme has also covered complaints received under the Reserve Bank Integrated Ombudsman Scheme. Therefore, aapka ye wala statement bhi galat ho jayega because they have not mentioned the Integrated Ombudsman Scheme here. Next, the activities under the Reserve Bank Integrated Ombudsman Scheme 2021 will be included from the financial year 2022-23 onwards, which is very wrong because it has already been included from, year, from the financial year 2021-22. So, Tino statements galat hai. Therefore, option D, all of the above will be the correct answer to this question. Let's move forward to the next question which says we need, uh, we need to identify the correct statements with regard to Consumer Education and Protection Department of RBI. First, it oversees the functioning of the 22 offices of RBI Ombudsman and 30 consumer education and protection cells. Second, it administers and handles complaints only related to the alternate grievance redressal mechanism NCP gram portal of RBI. Now, you can see the first statement is right? So, there are 22 offices of the banking ombudsman and 30 offices of the consumer education and protection cell. Second statement says that it administers and handles complaints related to the alternate grievance redressal mechanism which is nothing but the RBI Ombudsman scheme. Yeah, pe ye sahi hai. But the second word says that CP Gram portal of RBI which is very wrong because the portal of RBI is by the name CMS, Complaint Management System. CP Gram is the portal given by the Government of India. Therefore, statement 2 is incorrect. The third statement says it is responsible to create consumer awareness and publishing the annual report of the Reserve Bank Integrated Ombudsman Scheme, which is correct. So, we have correct statements identify karne hai. 1 and 3. Therefore, option C is the correct answer here. Let's move forward to the next question. The next question says... Which of the following are the key highlights under the Ombudsman Scheme Report released for the financial year 2021-22? The volume of complaints during the year, financial year 2022, decreased by 9.39% as compared to the previous year, which is wrong because the volume of the complaints, the number of complaints has actually increased in this financial year. Next. The rate of disposal of complaints improved, which is correct. It is around 98%. So, 98% of the total complaints that were received has actually been resolved. Third, majority of the maintainable complaints were resolved through the mutual settlement, which is again correct. So, our 2 and 3 correct. Hai. Therefore, option B will be the correct answer to this question. Let's move forward to the next question that we have which says which of the following entity will be included in the Reserve Bank Integrated Ombudsman Scheme of 2021? First, Scheduled Commercial Bank, yes. Then we have the Primary Urban Cooperative Banks, yes, they are also a part of it. Then we have the Non-Scheduled Urban Cooperative Banks with deposits above rupees 100 crores, which is wrong. The deposit or the criteria, the minimum eligibility criteria is just rupees 50 crores and above. So, statement 3 will be wrong. And fourth, core investment companies, which is again wrong. The, the entity which is eligible under this scheme is not core investment company, but credit information company, CIC. Okay, credit information company. 
So we need to identify the correct statements 1 and 2. Option A will be the correct answer to this question. Let's move forward to the last question that we have for today which says consider and identify the correct statements with regard to CRPC under the Reserve Bank Integrated Ombudsman Scheme. First, CRPC stands for Consumer Rights and Protection Center, which is wrong. CRPC ka full form ye nahi hai. It is Central Receipts and Processing Center. The center, the organization or the system that will receive all the complaints throughout the country. Okay, so central receipts and processing center because the preliminary processing, the initial processing of the complaints will be done by this department. Next, CRPC is established at RBI Mumbai, which is again wrong. It is established at Chandigarh. And the third statement, it says, CRPC will handle preliminary scrutiny, the initial scrutiny and processing of complaints received through email or physical mode from across the country, which is correct. So we need to identify the correct answer and here statement 3, that is option D will be the correct answer to this question. So I hope it is clear to you and you have understood it well. The answers are also provided in the PDF. In case if you have any doubt, then you can reach out to us uh, either in the comment section or if you are an enrolled student, you can make use of the discussion forum. So this was all for today. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.